Hi, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to walk you through our new Notion integration and how you can use it to sync your Notion databases with rows, build visualizations and embed them back into Notion. So let's say that I have a project in Notion that I'm tracking. In this case is our project plan to go to Mars. And I want to create a table of the issues or the challenges by status. And I want to embed the chart back in Notion because that's where I want to keep my report. So the easiest way of doing that is just using rows.com and the new Notion integration. The first thing that you'll do inside a spreadsheet is to go to data actions and type Notion. There it is. What you'll want to do is import the Notion database and connect integration. So connected integration just follows the typical Notion authentication process. I can select which pages I want to have access to. If I have private pages, whatever it is, in this case, I'll just select everything and give access to. And now the integration is already connected. So you see that Notion is now connected and I can import any of my databases. So I'll quickly go here. I'll copy the link to view. There it is. And then I'll simply type in where it says ID here and I'll build the table with all of the data. So Notion is importing the data back to rows. And now here it is. So if some columns are not useful, I can delete them. I can obviously re reorder them as well. For example, the Notion URL, I don't really need it in this case. And then I can do a lot of transformation that I use a spreadsheet for. So I can wrap text, for example, just to make this a little bit more visible. I can like, make these columns smaller. And one thing that I can do is refresh the import of this data. So you'll see here that the data is now connected to Notion. I can edit this table and schedule a refresh. For example, you know, every hour, every two minutes, every 60 minutes, let's say every one hour, I want to refresh it. Now I have a direct connection between the Notion database and the spreadsheet, right? So now they are effectively in sync. And once I have the data inside Notion, I can do a lot of things with it. I can compute it, I can add new tables to it, I can add charts. But let's say that in this example, I have a lot of challenges by status and I want to kind of create a pie chart of number of challenges per status. I'll go here and I'll actually use the AI analyst. So the AI analyst is going to be crunching the numbers and giving me an overview of what I can look for. And I'll actually ask a question. So I'll say, you know, challenge, number of challenges, number of challenges by status. Okay. Here it is. It's going to be crunching the numbers. I'll just hide quickly the sidebar here and it's going to output a new table with this. So number of challenges per status. Here it is table. So three in progress. So number of challenges. So here I have it. And now I'm going to create a chart to it. So click insert a chart. In this case, maybe I want it to be a column chart, for example, where I say challenges by status. Okay. I can even customize it further and say, let me insert a footnote here that the source of this is the notion go to Mars project plan. And actually I want to change the color of this. So I'm going to change this to be kind of a, a white green. Great. So now this is ready to be embedded. I'll just go here to the options of the chart, click to embed, enable it, and essentially just copy the URL. If I get back to Notion, I can paste it and create an embed here. Okay. So now that you'll see that this embed is exactly what is represented uh, here as well. Okay. So in this case, for example, if I make changes to the chart, you will see that it also is reflected there. So maybe I want the minimum to be zero instead of one. And you will see that now it is also reflected in the challenges. And now that this is in sync, whenever it refreshes, it will pull the data back. Of course, let's say that something changed here and I want this to be done and this one to be done as well. And if I don't want to wait until the automation run, I can actually come here and manually refresh the data as well. So I'm refreshing the source, it updated, now done has three. If I go back to my chart, I'll see that done has three, not started has two, and in progress has one. So essentially, very quickly, I was able to import the Notion database to the row spreadsheet, use, in this case, our AI analyst to compute the data and ask questions about the data, build our visualization, and then embed it back to Notion. And now I have a sync between my spreadsheet and my wiki. Yeah. And that's about it. So if you go to data actions, this is where you can import data from all of the integrations that Rose offers. 
And now within the catalog, you have Notion as well.